Good noon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Alex Sachs. And I'm Bill Frankmore. Thanks so much for joining us this noon. Melissa Carlson has the day off. Well, we begin today with a truce, at least for now, in the so-called cattle battle going on in southern Nevada. This weekend, the Bureau of Land Management halted the roundup of rancher Clive and Bundy's cattle because of, quote, escalating tensions between protesters and federal authorities. Still, many of the rancher's supporters expect agents to be back in greater numbers this week. Hundreds of protesters carrying signs or sidearms remained at the standoff site yesterday. Nevada officials and law enforcement officers are urging people to stay calm and leave the area. One demonstrator said they'll stay calm, but they expect calm from the government as well. I feel sorry for any federal agents that want to come in here and try to push us around or anything like that. I, I really don't want violence toward them, but if they're going to come bring violence to us, well, if that's the language they want to speak, we'll learn it. Well, that sounds now, federal land managers pledged to pursue efforts to resolve the more than two decade long conflict with Bunt Bundy and collect an estimated $1 million in back grazing fees. Bureau of Land Management spokesperson Craig Leff said that the door isn't closed to resolving the matter administratively and judiciously. Meanwhile, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid is in town today, and we wanted his take on the ordeal. He hasn't been very vocal about the showdown in recent days. And today, he wasn't either. Here's what he did have to say. Um, is there anything you would like to say about what's going on down south with Clive Bundy and the BLM? Well, it's not over. Uh, you know, we can't have an American people that violate the law and just walk away from it. So it's not over. Senator Reid just wrapped up a speech and question and answer session with students at UNR.